Man, what an absolute banger of an intro to a show. What is up, everyone? My name is Wes. This is Top Shelfers. And in this series, I'm going to be doing deep dives into every single episode of Black Mirror, uh, one of my favorite shows ever created. If you guys aren't familiar with what Black Mirror is, I'll kind of give you a little bit of a summary and then we will kind of we're just going to dive right into the first episode. So Black Mirror is a a series of it, it, man, it's so hard to explain. It's every episode is an individual story and the theory is or the, the whole idea of the show is technology is advancing and getting kind of scary and how it can impact our everyday lives. And it throws out these weird scenarios of like, if this tech existed, how would it impact us? What would it look like? Is it ever going to be a possibility? Or some of the episodes just make you really think about what could be going on in our world. For example, there's an episode where it's all about a, a video game and it's these people who are on like a Star Trek Enterprise type thing. And they're all interacting with each other as if they know each other and have all these personalities and are real people and come to find out they're in a video game because they got programmed so well. So it's just, and, and you know, that starts making you think, are we in a simulation? All that type of stuff. Anyways, um, we're going to jump right into the first episode, which this show is one of the hardest shows to recommend to people because the first episode is so... I guess you could say it has something very disturbing in it. Now, I do want to warn people, I, I am going to be spoiling stuff. Um, and then how I'm going to kind of go about this episode discussion is I'm going to explain what happens in the episode and then what I feel about it and then the real life implications in my opinion of it. Uh, if it would either and if it's an episode that's like based off of a future tech idea, you know, what I think about that idea. So the first episode is called The National Anthem. And basically what what the summary is, we are following the Prime Minister of the UK. Uh, now it's not anyone actual, it's not real names or anything like that. And he gets a call in the middle of the night and he finds out that the princess has been kidnapped. Now, he kind of wakes up and he's like, okay, well, I don't really know what that means. Like, okay, I'm sure that we'll get him back yada 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 and as the day progresses there is a video that gets uploaded to youtube of the princess and she is reading out a list of demands and the demand from whoever the kidnapper is says that this prime minister has to go on national tv and have intercourse with a pig in front of everybody's eyes shocking right it's hard to like i said it's hard to recommend this show to people because of how disturbing this first episode is so as the episode progresses they're trying to locate the princess they're trying to use the tech that they have avail available to track the the ip and where the video is uploaded to and and he sends out like a task force to go and try and find the kidnappers and they are left to uh, no success. And what you're seeing is like you're seeing this prime minister go through these mental phases of like, oh, this can't be real. Like, I'm not, there's no way that this is going to happen to his, the per, one of the people who is close to him in his cabinet or whatever it's called, basically told him, like, we're at the point now where you're going to have to do this. And he's like, no, like I, I can't. And she drops the bomb on him of like, if you don't do this, like I can't, like I can't promise the safety of you or your family. Basically threatening him, saying like, if you don't do this, like we will, we'll kill you. And it just, 
you start see whoever the actor is. I should probably find um, the actor's name because I feel like that's a super important part. Uh, bear with me one second. Rory Kinnear uh, is the prime minister. His name in the episode is Michael Callow. He just does such a good job of like, you can see it in his face and he just, you could just solely start seeing the, his reality is coming to life. And what ends up happening is they try and hire someone and they were going to green screen his face onto him. But because of how this kidnapper demanded the video be shot, he knew how to make it so that would be impossible. Uh, and they, <laughs> the guy that they hired is some like famous, you know, hub star, if you know what I mean. And someone sees him going in there, tweets about it, and then the, the kidnapper ends up hearing about it and makes another video, sends it to the news of him taking off the princess's finger and saying, if you're going to fake it, like, I'm going to kill her. So it just it just it goes downhill from further it goes further and further downhill and then it gets to the point where they're like, hey, like get ready. You're doing it. And the the one of the most interesting parts about the episode is all of the people are now like glued to the television. They're like glued to their phones, like, oh my god, is this really gonna happen? And like everyone like they they can't look away. They know like there's no way he's going to do it. He, he couldn't do it. He wouldn't do it. Right. And like the last like 10 minutes, of the episodes is build up. They're like, Hey, you got to take these pills. Cause like you need to perform. Like the guys mentioned that you have to make sure that you're actually doing it. And he, you see him go and he's just fucking losing his mind. Like he's going crazy that he has to go do this. And then it shows, it shows him walking in the room and there's just a fucking pig. A big old pot belly pig and like he's freaking out and then because he's scared of what they'll do to his family and him you see him unbuckle his pants and of course they don't show him banging out this pig but it pans to the reactions of all these civilians and all these citizens and they're like it first starts out like oh my god he's doing it and then it's it says something like it pans back to like some of the other government officials and they're like, it's been an hour. Because obviously, like, I, I don't think I need to explain that. Like, you're not going to. Yeah. And uh, he, he pans back to all these people just watching in just absolute disgust. But they just can't not watch it. Like, it's a spectacle. And they keep showing these panning views of the city and how the city's just completely empty. And everyone's, like, watching the screen. And they're, like, there's like these doctors and like one lady's like, we need to turn it off. And he's like, don't touch that dial. Cause you know, it, to them, it's like this historic moment. Like it's crazy. And then it pans out to this, like a bigger picture of the city. And you see the princess stumbling in to the city. And uh, she like passes out on the, on the ground. And you see some people run over and help her. Like there's like two people outside. And, uh, come to find out the kidnapper actually let her go about 20 minutes to a half hour earlier than when he was supposed to go have intercourse with this pig but because everyone was so glued to their phones and television they didn't notice her and uh, there, there's this really disturbing scene between the lady who kind of threatened his life and one of the other government officials like make sure that that piece of knowledge never gets out that she was she got out before he had to do that. And, uh, man, it just, and her finger wasn't amputated. It was fake. And then they show the point of view of the guy who kidnapped her. And, uh, he just, he like hangs himself, you know, trying to send this message of like, you know, we're so wrapped up in all this bullshit that you guys could have prevented something if you just didn't get involved, you know, like, <laughs> It wouldn't even been a big deal if no one watched the TV show or the the, the stream of it because then no one would have known about it. Like, no one would have seen him doing that, but they just couldn't not watch it. Uh, and I have a lot of interesting opinions kind of on this episode. I mean, 
I'm a big advocate, even though I make content and I game and I do all that type of stuff, like we're so built into these, right? Like that's the whole point of the series title. It's like reflections of the the you know, reflections of the black mirror, right? Like your your reflection of your phone and your your screens, like we're we're so integrated into it now that we miss so much of actually what life is uh which is a whole other discussion but i do have some interesting thoughts on this episode and you know it might get me in some trouble but we're gonna discuss it anyways and basically i really wonder if dark shit like this goes on in the government especially I, i'm in, from the states and i'm sure everyone knows of all the fucked up stuff that's going on in our landscape here and you know everything with the epstein and all the people that have been there like i kind of wonder if like dark shit like this happens but they do it like they set each other up and I'm not going to use names because I'm, you know, but like, let's say politician A, who is really powerful, is afraid of politician B. And then he sets him up to do something fucked up, like something that's on Epstein's Island. And then they record them doing it. And it's kind of like a, hey, remember that policy I'm pushing through? Well, you better make sure that it gets approved or remember that? Remember when you came and got drunk and did that thing? The world could know. You know, if, if you believe in all of the stuff that's around that, everyone who's gone to that island and done stuff is rich and powerful in some sort of sense. Why would they do it? You know, is it like setups to, you know, have this blackmail on each other? I don't know. Just a thought to think about. But like a situation like this, like... He got... He had to do something vile. And and what, what's interesting about the ending of it is they end up like... Um, he ends up staying in office and has like a really good approval rate because everyone like now trusts him. But... Like, they show a scene of his wife, like... Because, like, throughout this whole process, they they pan to his wife sometimes, and she's just, like, crying and freaking out, and, you know, she can't believe it that he's even going to do it, and he, their marriage is completely collapsed, but they have to, like, show face, because that's what you do in politics. <sighs> Overall, it's a really good episode. It's not one of my favorites, because I really like the episodes where we dive into like future tech and AI and what it's going to look like in the next few years. Uh, I love all that speculation. Uh, this episode just reminds me of like what's going on in the world with, you know, is there people who are blackmailing each other, doing these awful things and forcing them to work for them or do, you know, other horrendous stuff where it's going to ruin them. Like, I don't think it's that far fetched of an idea. I really don't. And I, I think as far as Black Mirror goes, this is one of the weaker episodes overall, but it, it hooks you in because it's just so fast paced. It's like watching an episode of 24. It's just fucking you're sweating and people are doing shit and shit's happening. And you're like, fuck, it's not good. And then it doesn't ever get good. It's always bad. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty much all I'm going to discuss with this episode. Um, short and to the point, next episode is going to be a lot more detailed because it's a very, very unique episode. Uh, and then pretty much everything after the first episode, there's a couple shitters here and there, uh, in my opinion, but the majority of them are pretty damn crazy. But yeah, if you guys, oh, and of course, so on my discord which will be linked below i am watching these videos watching these episodes every single week with people so if you've never seen black mirror 
and you want to watch it and have people to talk about it with right after the episode, or you've just always wanted people to talk to about Black Mirror, join my Discord. Come watch it every single week. Um, it's usually around 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, um, but I can adjust it depending on who's there and who wants to watch. But it's been a lot of fun. We haven't had a huge turnout yet. Usually it's like two to four people watching it right now. But, uh, you know, I could. it'd be awesome if there was a bunch of us and then we could discuss it right after the episode and I'll have like a good time and explain why we like the episode or why we hate the episode. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this because I'm going to go through all of Black Mirror's entirety. Uh, so hopefully it's enjoyable. If it isn't, maybe I'll just do it for fun and not make the videos, but let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and I one thing, I didn't script, I didn't write a script for this. I kind of wanted it to flow out. If you want it to be more structured and sound more like clean and to the point, let me know. I can write a script for it so it doesn't, I'm not as scattered brain, but I've had so many mixed reviews. When I do write scripts, people don't like it because it just seems not authentic. And then sometimes when I do off the cuff authentic you know in the moment it's kind of scatterbrained so any help would be appreciated any advice on that field let me know aside from that thanks for watching have a great rest of your day catch you on the next one peace